In the north of Moscow, a car carrying a Russian army officer exploded in the parking lot of a residential building. According to the official representative of the Russian Interior Ministry, Irina Vok, an explosive device was detonated. As a result of the explosion, two people were injured and hospitalized. The Telegram channel Astra writes that the car was carrying the deputy head of the satellite communication center of the Russian armed forces Andrei Torgashov and his wife Maya. The soldiers' feet were torn off. The TASS agency also confirmed that the car belonged to Torgashov. The investigative committee opened a criminal case. At the same time, the explosion of the car with Torgashov in it was called an incident. The article under which the criminal case was opened is not stated in the report. TASS, citing law enforcement agencies, writes that the explosion was classified as attempted murder. Two people were killed as a single-engine plane crushed shortly after taking off on New York's Long Island, local authorities said on Tuesday. Beechcraft Bonanza A36 took off from MacArthur Airport in Ronkonkoma at about 6.15 p.m. Monday and crashed after the pilot tried to return to the runway, Suffolk County Police said in a news release. A pilot and his passenger were killed in the crash. The Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board have launched an investigation in the plane crash. The National Transportation Safety Board will be in charge of the investigation. The names of the two men who were killed are being withheld until their families are notified. Tonight at about 6.15, a small plane took off heading in a southwest direction. According to a witness, the plane got airborne and for some unknown reason attempted to return to the runway. Uh, upon that return, the plane crashed. Two adult men on board, uh, both of these adults were pronounced dead at the scene. This is an active investigation. We're processing the crime scene right now. Uh, FAA is on the scene, the NTSB is responding. Uh, the cause is unknown right now, I will leave that to the NTSB to comment on that uh, when the time is appropriate. Uh, we have not identified the two men on board, we are speaking with someone who might be a family member right now. Uh, that's really all I can say right now.